All right, guys, you are in for a treat because I just finished asking ChatGPT a bunch of questions about the Acura NSX and I was shocked. So we are redoing it and showing you because this is absolutely crazy. If you guys are not aware of what ChatGPT is, it's a language AI system or software or whatever you wanna call it, technology, and essentially it uses all the data on the internet to respond to questions and it is actually quite impressive. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be asking you questions about the Acura NSX. We're not gonna bore you with the long responses, but we're gonna point out some of the information here that it got absolutely right and some information that only if you're an Acura NSX owner would you know. I mean, this thing is pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in questions. So here we go. And we're just gonna move fast. <clears throat> what is a What is the Acura NSX? Here we go. And it started. As you can tell, it's just spitting out stuff. Now you would assume, oh, this is the stuff you get from Wikipedia, but which is, wait, it's just starts spitting out some serious data. All right. So that's pretty accurate. All right. Is the Acura NSX a sports car? We gotta fix that grammar. All right, that's right. Check this out. Yep. Talks about two-seater, mid-engine, high-performance handling, lower center of gravity. And it talks about how it's regarded as a high-performance car. I mean, we're getting out of the Wikipedia range here. All right. How much is an Acura NSX? Oh, man. So they're talking about the new one here. But they give you a little bit more information. As you can see. All right. So is the Acura NSX... Faster or fast. <laughs> oh man. So talking about the NC1 here with some 573 horsepower specs and talks about the hybrid. So this one really talked more about the NC1. So let's see if we can refine that. Oh, let me go. Is a 1991 Acura NSX fast? Let's see if it, it addresses that. So address the question specifically. Talks about 3.0 liters, 70 horsepower, 270 horsepower, the speed, and it talks about how the difference between new cars and old cars and how it was regarded today. All right, this is important for a lot of you guys. Will girls like me if I have an Acura NSX? Now look how fast it responded. It talked about the Acura NSX, but now it's talking about personality and identity and other factors like character and stuff like that and being respectful and nice. I mean, it's spitting out information pretty quickly, and some of this stuff is accurate if you really want to get down to the details. Is a Acura NSX better than a Ferrari? Uh-oh, are we gonna break this system? All right, let's talk about its subjective. It talks about Ferraris are known for exquisiteness, but they also talk about more practical, high-performance driving experience. Uh, but let's see what they say at the end. O overall, both the Acura and SX are impressive cars. Whether one is better is ultimately depends on the drivers looking for in a high-performance car. Should I buy an Acura NSX or a Ferrari? Oh man, we're trying, to we're, gonna we're trying to trip it up. That's our goal. So again, personal preference, driving need, and budget. So if you're looking for a practical, again, they talked about practical, more accessible car, if you're looking for a luxury status, status symbol and a rich racing history in the quizzes style, I mean, they got, they got that pretty, pretty accurate. They didn't give you a conclusive answer, but they gave you a lot more information. Will my Acura be worth a lot more in the future? Hmm. Let's see what it says. So it's difficult to predict it, but it says keep, essentially talks about the factors that might keep the worthness or the value of the car. I mean, but look at the information you're getting. I mean, this is actual professional information. Will gas-powered cars be allowed to or on the road in the future? Let's see what it says. I mean, I was just asking all the questions to think of here. The future of gas-powered cars on the road is uncertain and may depend on a variety of factors such as government regulations, market demand, technology advancements. I mean, this thing could literally bust out information quicker than I could read it. And I can't read fast. Well, I mean, that's not saying a lot. But I mean, it is literally talking about it. Let's see. What is the best mod for my Acura NSX? Now, let's see, guys. We, we, know, our, we know this car. So let's see what it says. All right. Uh, 
Suspension upgrades, true. Exhaust system, wheels and tires, engine tuning. That's kind of basic right there, engine tuning. Brake upgrades. I mean, it does give you some information, but not very, very specific information on here. Oh, this this part hurt my feelings. What makes, <laughs> who makes YouTube videos for the Acura NSX? All right, look at that. You start Sawagis. Oh man, those guys don't know anything. Dr Daily driving experience, they don't know anything. Spoon fed tuning, who the hell is that? NSX, etc. that's a cool guy. TJ Hunt, nope. Wow, they left out a lot of, they left out us? But you know what? We got we to gotta ask it. We got to ask it why it did that, right? Hey, we got to get wild. What about driver's therapy? Yeah. Come on, man. Let's see. Oh, it's a popular features content related accurate. Well, why didn't you bring it up the first time? But look at that, guys. I ain't even making this up. This is... I mean, it says, overall, Driver's Therapy is a great channel for NSX enthusiasts who are looking for in-depth reviews and discussions about the car, as well as insights into the NSX community. That is true. How did it know that? It's kind of scary, right? All right, what is the best color for the Acura NSX? Again, I think it defaults to the new Acura NSX because, yeah, we didn't have Valencia Red Pearl or Nova Blue Pearl or Casino White Pearl, so that's NC1 action, but again, I'm just curious of why it pulls that up. You know, it's pulling, it's got a certain algorithm thing that it's setting itself up to do. So at this point in time, I'm very curious about that. All right. So what is the best place to buy NSX parts? Oh, this is the part where you guys are going to be impressed because they get it right. Okay. Well, not the dealership. Online retailers. Look at that. They talk about science speed, NSX prime. Wow, they talk about the NSX Club, salvage yards. Oh, I don't think oh, you're not gonna find any salvage parts. Just being honest with you, there. But the fact that they know about NSX Prime, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's pretty neat. Look at this. This is the best part. NSX owners like many their own personalities, but look, they say in general the NSX community is known to be friendly, welcoming, and supportive. Oh man, see these. This is where the AI is shining. I mean, this is actual true information. These guys. I mean, they act, this, it's actually telling us the truth. They're not, this is not based on Corvettes or anything like that. They, they know that. Can I fit pe three people in my NSX? Well, I know somebody's tried that before. <laughs> it essentially tells you, don't do it, right? I mean, at this point in time, I love this because you're just kind of testing it. And then you're kind of asking it. So who is the best NSX owner in the world? You know, I was trying to be like, you know, who is that? Or in the UK, I was trying to make it say Clive, my one of my friends Clive, but now it says it doesn't know. It really doesn't give you individual information. Like if you type in your name, I found out that there's like some privacy settings or whatever. It's not going to give you a bunch of data, but I bet you like the Department of Defense or somebody like that. They have something like this where you type in a name and they'll tell you everything about that individual. <laughs> Check this out. Who's the most famous NSX owners? This is actually pretty neat though, because this is, I, there's some people I didn't even know about. Like, of course we know Jerry Seinfeld. I'm not a fan, just being honest. Um, Shaquille O'Neal, I didn't know that. Does he even fit? Jay Leno, he's awesome. Tony Stark, that's my man. And then, what? There's an Acura in the sex in the Spider-Man Homecoming movie? I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Then I tell thank you. All right, let's stop. Boom. So guys, I don't know about you, but that was pretty crazy. I mean, overall, it gave pretty precise information. If you didn't know about Acura NSX, you got some pretty cool behind the scenes information, like the NSX community is good. They told you about places like Science Speed. They told you things about NSX Prime. I mean, at the end, this chat GPT stuff is pretty cool. I went on a binge later, like, and asked it a bunch of personal stuff, just like questions I've always had about like science stuff and all that. And I was impressed about how you could just ask it questions and you'd be, you'd assume like, oh yeah, but it's kind of like Google, right? Well, Google gives you like places that you could find information, but this actually gives you the information, which is really revolutionary. I think it's super epic. I think it's the future and I love it. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you think the Terminator is coming, but at the end, this was epic. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.